Melissa, get that? You sleep good last night? You know I did. Mm. Mm. Don't forget to put the hamper in the laundry room. Got a mountain of dirty clothes I gotta do when I get home tonight. I give you dirty. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming! You'll mess up my makeup. Such a mess in the TV room. What? The TV room. Looks like a bomb went off in there. Yeah, I was gonna clean it up. Uh-huh. Doug and I were playing Call of Duty. I heard. Does mom kick him out again? Mm, yeah, something like that. Someone should have called Child Protective Services on that woman years ago. You tell that boy he's welcome here anytime. Hold do. I'm glad we can talk about anything. Yeah, hey, you're my buddy. <laughs> Son, you watched that disgusting thing. Recently. Can you just let me throw it away, please? No, no, I love this hoodie. Well, then at least put it in the laundry. You look like a hobo. Okay. Better with this. Come on, live a little. Come on. Oh. How can something so bad feel so good? Just the way it works. I get you to eat. Mm, uh, blueberry pancakes. I don't have blueberries, and I don't have time to make you pancakes. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Highness. Don't let it happen again. I'm gonna go take a nap. You're gonna take a nap at 7:30 in the morning? Don't you have a class at nine? I do. I'm gonna take a cat nap. I meant what I said. Grades go down, cars, cars not, not around. around. What am I, a broken record over here? Kind of. Well, good. Maybe this time you'll listen. Well, you're not going to work at Pasta Palace the rest of your life, are you? I don't know, Tito. Can't throw a football, but I sure can sling spaghetti on the wall. Very funny. Can you guys see where my money clip is? Isn't it in the dish on top of your dresser? I thought that's where I put it. Oh, here. Why do you taste like an ashtray? I have no idea. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to talk about this later. Open my knee. Promise. Come on, guys, gross. And as for your butt, get your ass to class, mister. Pronto. 
You hear me? Mm, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Ham or PB and J? What kind of ham? The usual. Jelly? Kumquat. Kumquat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it sounded interesting. Jelly. Love you guys. I'll see you tonight. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you always do nothing. <laughs> hey, Sally. Thanks again for hosting last weekend. Oh, our house is your house. Ted drank too much, but what else is <laughs> new? <laughs> so did I. Don't tell anyone. You know your secret's safe with me. We're having a get-together at the end of the month, if you and Tito are around. Just close friends and family. What's the occasion? Greg got into Penn State. He did? Oh! For finance, just like his father. Oh, well, congratulations. You must be so proud. We are. And Danny's still going to BCC? Uh, for now, he's been looking at some more prominent colleges, RIT maybe, or Cornell. He, he wants to get his feet wet first, you know, figure out what he, what he really wants to do before diving in head first. I think it's a very mature decision. I agree. Well, I'll get you the date and time of the party as we get closer. Okay, great. Have a wonderful day. You too. Good news, Pops. Kelly's got her book club meeting tonight, so esta noche el partidito. Partidito, partidazo. <laughs> sí, sí, señores. Yo soy de Boca. Yo soy de Boca. Yo soy de Boca. Mr. Bill Cunningham, what's going on? <laughs> What's up? Hey, what are you two so excited about? Oh, a big football game in Argentina tonight. I think it means soccer. Football, soccer, it's the greatest game on earth. What's wrong with you? The greatest game on earth is when Mikey was playing real football for us. Hey, I think you're doing okay without me, coach. Yeah, we're all the flame. How's it going, Tito? Eh, same old, same old, except I'm expecting to become a granddad. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Boy or girl? Oh, we're waiting to see. Good for you. Time sure flies, huh? Yep. Hello. Hey. Just seeing how you're holding up. Considering I've worked 48 days straight, pretty good. <laughs> Make sure you're eating and getting enough sleep. Yes, Mom. How's everything going with you? Good. Just doing some grocery shopping. What's wrong? Nothing. You sound tired. Danny stayed up late playing Call of Duty. Didn't he have class this morning? Yes. Uh, then why is he up late playing video games? He's 19, Anna. He's an adult. So maybe he should act like one. You're too soft on him. You let him get away with shit that would never fly with Mikey and me. I gotta go, Mom. I'll call you later. knocking, no one's coming to the door. Never have to knock. Come inside. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Look. Oh my god. It's so cool. Can I come? You better. Linda, is Danny here? He's not picking up his phone. That's weird. I tried texting him all day, too, and he hasn't answered. Danny, are you in there? Danny? You want me to try again? Yeah. Hey, Danny, open the door! the door. Door's locked. Get out of the way. Danny! Oh, he's not even in here. Oh, what's that smell? <sighs> Jeez. God, no! My little guy. And he's dead. Tito, Linda. Um, do either of you know his passwords? We used to. He changed them a few months back. 
We wanted to give him his privacy. Listen, the coroner's here. We're gonna need to do an autopsy to determine the cause of death. A list of his friends? Yeah, just need to take your time. Um, um, I know he was with Doug Whitmore last night. I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. That's all right.
What should I say? I don't know. Can we just have someone else do it? Like who? Mom and Dad? Nineteen-year-old Daniel Latterman was found dead in his bedroom early last night from an apparent drug overdose. This police department will be working with the DOJ to determine the source of these drugs. We have no suspects at this time. Tonight, bitter winds return with lows in... People have been stopping by all day. The fridge is full of food. Mike and Kelly went home. They'll be back in the morning. I think I'm going to stay in my old room for a while. Where's your mother? She's been in your room sleeping all day. That's good. She needs the rest. We have to make decisions, Papa. Are we going to bury him? I put my son in the ground. Sorry. We're still gonna have a funeral. He needs something to wear.
It's four o'clock. May I start letting people in? Yes. How can we help you? Uh, I was wondering if you might have uh, an Omega Seamaster from the 40s, kind of a vintage watch. No, I'm sorry. We haven't had anything like that come into the shop. You sure you want me to send this? They said you can take as much time as you need. Amazing. I, I just finished your plaque this morning. Tito. Nancy and I saw on the news. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Nancy bought you a pie. Thanks. 
It's gonna be okay. I mean, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? You hungry? We were supposed to go fishing at Moapi Lake last week. And he stood me up twice. I should have known something was up. It was his favorite place in the world. It's not your fault. You should answer it. Hey, what's up, babe? Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. I don't know, I... I was afraid that he would break up with me if I did. There's this house for sale over on Church Street. They had this open house a few months ago, and Danny pretended that we were interested. The agent didn't buy it for a second, but, you know, Danny could get people to do pretty much anything he wanted. She gave us this tour. We talked about all the ways that we were gonna do great. I mean, we both knew that it was all a joke, but somehow it also felt like totally real. I don't want to ever be that happy again. Set the table. Linda, Linda, what are you doing? 
babe, babe, babe. It's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay, sweetie. We just make more pancakes. <laughs> we can't make more. I don't have any more blueberries. We just make plain. Plain pancakes. Yeah, well, plain. Thank you. Thanks again, Dr. King, for showing up on such short notice. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah. No, I'm just glad that I had a break in my schedule. So, um, do we want to start with uh, what happened yesterday? It's okay. Um, we can start with how you've been sleeping. Not good. Linda? We've both been having a hard time. Okay. It's, uh, it's important for you to take care of yourselves. So I I'm gonna prescribe you both a sleep aid. No drugs. I'm sorry? It could help. I don't wanna sleep. How about if I write you the prescription and if you decide not to fill it, it's up to you, but it's there? If you need it. Yeah. Okay. I like your stickers. Sorry. Who put those there? Uh, my daughter. How old is she? Seven. We got into his email and his social media accounts, but we're still locked out of his phone. What's that video? Click on that. here tomorrow. I want to know what the hell is going on. There's like... Oh.
better with this. Mm. Come on, live a little. Come on. See, isn't this nice? Could you do something so stupid? That's what kids do, Mom. Don't give me that crap. You're smarter than that. Apparently not. One day it was just there, and I thought, can't be worse than how I feel now. So I tried some, and it felt amazing. The universe opened up, and I was finally part of it. I felt so light, like I floated up out of myself until I was way up there. And all the noise in my head just stopped. And there was this silence. I didn't have to think about everyone that went away to really great schools or how I came home smelling like a deep fryer every night. All that mattered was that feeling. And I'd do anything to find it again and again and again. Why didn't you tell? to tell you, Mom. <gasps> but I wanted the drug more. Remember that one time he strained his hair and then he went to school with Connie's hey, headband? Hey, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> when he used to get on his tippy toes and he used to do like this crazy little like <laughs> dance of his. Oh my God, that was his signature move, man. Danny told me at Thanksgiving that he tried it with Doug. Doug. They got it from some kid at the Pasta Palace. I, I couldn't believe it. I told him he was stupid. He agreed with me. And when we got back from Christmas, we had an intervention. We were up all night with the two of them. Why didn't you tell any of us? They, they made us promise not to tell. We talked to them for like six hours straight. They said they'd never touch it again. He was your best friend? And you let him kill himself? Tito! Get out! Go! 
You guys fucked up. This is all on you. Open up, we know you're home. We want to talk to your son, Mary. I want to talk to Doug. No, I, I want these thugs off my property. Uh, I'm, I'm filing a restraining order. I don't feel safe. I understand, Miss Woodmark. Well, she's filing a restraining order against you, too. Doug and Danny were using together. Doug is one of the first kids I spoke to, but he wouldn't tell me anything because his mother's got him lawyered up the wazoo. Let me talk to him. It's not up to me. He will talk to me, Brian. Your call. Uh, hello, yes, I'd like to speak with Douglas Whitmore. Who can I say is calling? Linda Latterman. One moment, please. Hello, Mrs. Latterman. I'm unable to put your call through at this time. It's, it's very important. I'll let Doug know you No, call. please! He'll call if and when he's ready. Goodbye now. Let me speak to her. Mr. Brennan, you are charged with first-degree strict liability for drug-induced death, second-degree manslaughter, hindering apprehension, and tampering with evidence. How do you plead? Not guilty.
I'm going to go to the shop. You want me to pick anything up on my way home? I'll, uh... I'll call you later. This is my brother Adam. When I see a picture upper, I see dollar sign. So he came in to us a couple weeks ago by Daniel Lauderman. Do you still have it? I actually sold it the next day. Hey, can, can you tell me when you sold it to? I, I, I can't tell you that. Come on, man. Not for free. You're hungry. Oh, that smells amazing. I put some chili peppers in there to give it an extra kick. <laughs> oh. Where's Anna? Oh, she just texted me. She got caught up at work. <laughs> well, anyway, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Oh. Are you okay? The baby's really acting up today. I'm okay. I'm gonna be a granddad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me need a plate. Is Tito here, too? Would you like a drink? Uh, Ted's signature cocktail is the Nittany Lion. I have no idea what's in it, but it's, it's not half bad. Uh, we were going to invite you. But after what happened, and I was afraid it would be in poor taste. <gasps> How are you? I'm sorry. That was a stupid question. I'm terrible in situations like this. I never know what to say. I wanted to call you. But I figured you wouldn't want to be bothered with so many people calling your house. No one talks to us anymore. Oh. It just scared me. You know? Okay. 
Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. God damn it! What? Maurice made bail. His lawyers got it reduced. His family got him out. He's under house arrest. Can I help you? You Terry Wright? Yeah, who wants to know? You bought a watch from a pawn shop a few weeks ago. I didn't get my address. Can I buy it back from you? Man, get off my porch. I have cash. It's not for sale. Please, name your price. Give me that. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is you doing? This what you do? You sell poison to kids? I sell high quality shit for paying customers. Now, won't you give that back to my boy before you open the door you can't walk through? You see this, my man? Did you fucking? Fucking crazy. What you gonna do with that? You're strapped out here, my man. Don't you come any closer. I'll fucking hit you, man. I'll hey, fucking hey, break hey, your hey. head open. Yo, I got that thing you was looking for. Yeah. Yo, T, this your boy? Yeah, yeah, he's an old acquaintance. We serve time together. Tell him move his car, because you're scaring away my customers. I got you, I got you. Yo, right, you got a go. death wish? You know Miko? He don't play. I'm just not thinking straight. Would you reconsider the watch? Man, if that watch is so important to you, why did you pawn it in the first place? I think my son sold it to buy heroin. He's dead. Yeah, let me show you something. Once it gets into you, it's nothing else. You're like a wild animal. All you smell is blood. I'd have sold the, the clothes off my kid's back. I practically did. <sighs> Last month, my daughter, she wrote to me, saying she's getting married. Mm. Yeah. I wanted to know if I wanted to come to the wedding. She didn't have to do that. After all the shit that I pulled, mm-mm. So, I'm gonna go. Show her that I'm all right. Show I'm getting better, you know? Show her that I'm sorry. So I've been saving up my coins, got me a new suit, New pair of shoes and a new watch. Been three years since my last fix. Not a day goes by where my heart doesn't race thinking about it. Not one day. You, you, this is too close to the garage. You can't put a pantry in here. What are, you, what are you talking about? What else are you going to use this for, Adam? Look at how far away from the kitchen it is. Adam, this they have to be 15 feet from the kitchen. Adam, they have legs. I am When you're in the middle of something, you have to grab something from the pantry. You don't have time.
time to run all the way down the hall. No, look at look at the blueprint right here. You can see. How much pumpkin do we need? You can make a pie. How many pies? What do you want for dinner? Whatever. Whatever, you. Stay away from me! Stay away from me! You are not allowed within 100 yards of touch me again! I'll have your ass in jail so fast, try me. How could you not tell me Doug was using? Oh. How could you not know Daddy was? I brought your son into our home. Oh, what are you, mother of the year now? Let's go. I barely even see my son, and I knew what was going on. Where the hell were you, Linda? Who does that woman think she is talking to me that way? What? Didn't say anything. <sighs> You're thinking it. Told you Danny should have gone away to school. He wanted to stay here. So he could be close to Colleen. That was your brother's decision. Well, it was the wrong one. Are you saying if he'd went away to school, this wouldn't have happened? No. But if you and Dad would have pushed him harder, maybe school would have been more important to him than Colleen and all the losers he hung out with. We pushed him. He wasn't as naturally gifted a student as you are. Danny was a lot smarter than you give him credit for. All he had to do was apply himself, but you let him get away with C's. I didn't let him get away with anything. I was a good mother. Do you hear me? A good mother! Mom? Mom! <laughs> Where's Danny's car? What happened? Oh, Anna and I got into a minor collision, but we're fine. The car, on the other hand, is gonna need $3,000 worth of repairs. $3,000? <sighs> Sorry, it was an accident. Were you the one driving? Yeah, so? I just don't think you should be behind the wheel for a while. I'm fine. You're not fine. <sighs> you don't sleep, you hardly ever eat. All you do is drink coffee. Uh, when was the last time you had a decent shower? I mean, you're not even like here, here, here. Well, I'm sorry I'm not like you. I'm sorry I can't go to work every day like a goddamn robot. I'm not built like that. Either life goes on or it doesn't. So please, Linda, come back here. <laughs> okay. Come back here. Linda. Linda. Where are you going? Going for a run. I'm sorry.
I'll let her know. Bye. So, that was Channel 4 News. They said something about a Facebook post. No way. Absolutely not. I need to talk about what happened to Danny. They'll say anything to get you on TV. Maybe. But I need people to know that there are drugs out there that can kill you. Things are finally starting to calm down. Mom, don't you want to move on and stop reliving the worst day of all of our lives? I want Danny's death to mean something. What happened to us is private. It is nobody's <gasps> business but ours. This is happening everywhere, constantly. I need to say something. What, Anna? You really think those kids who came to Danny's memorial service are going to stop using because you tell them to? No. But if their parents know what's out there, then maybe the kids will... What about us? Do you even care what it's doing to us? Anna, wait! registered nurse whose 19-year-old son was found dead last month from a heroin overdose. I couldn't tell from my kid's behavior. <laughs> Later, I learned from his friends that prescription painkillers, Xanax, MDMA, oh, I'll, and I'll go get are the norm. People need to wake up. I'm not going to let my son's death Can I help you find something? Uh, yes, I'm looking for a baby gift for Kelly Latterman. I believe she's registered here. Yeah, sure. I can go print that out for you. Feel free to look around. So it wasn't a heart attack? No, but your heart rate was abnormally high. We'd like for you to stay a few days just so we can keep an eye on things. Thank you, doctor. <sighs> Ham and cheese or PBJ? Doesn't matter. Of course it matters. This here is honey roasted ham. And this is PBJ. 
Guava jelly. I thought it was kind of interesting. Do you still love me? You blame me. If I hadn't worked so much, I could have taken an interest in, in what was important to him. You took an interest in what was important to him? Every night at dinner, you asked him about his school, his friends. This isn't your fault. Yes, it is. The reason the lights are on in our house is because of you. The reason we have food on our table is because of you. We couldn't have gone on without you. I couldn't have gone on without you. Then why don't you let me touch you? I think the hardest thing for me is how clean the house is. It seemed like every time I came home from work, there'd be video games all around, on packs of chips. <laughs> I was always telling him to clean up. Don't leave everything such a mess. Now, just once, I wish I could come home and trip over his sneakers in the entryway or come across his dirty socks. I remember every single time I yelled at him for not taking out the trash or leaving dirty dishes in the sink. But I can't remember if I told him I loved him the last time we spoke.
I failed at the one thing a mother should do. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Life after you, what your death from drugs leaves behind. sell the house. But Georgina said it's going to take a while to sell the house with everything that happened, so... Uh, she also said there's some houses for sale the next town over. If you feel like it. You're gonna love this one. It's a ranch with a new addition and an in-ground swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Amor? You wanna go inside? Oh. Mikey Mike, what's going on? Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it happened so fast, I thought we were gonna have her in the car. <laughs> oh. It's Grandpa. <laughs> Her name is Michelle. Do you want to hold her? Oh. <laughs> 